Hi everybody and welcome to Jimmy Draws Art. Today I'm going to go ahead and do this sketch here today that you get to see me doing right now. And we're also going to do an art haul today as well too. So let's get to it. Okay, so while I go ahead and finish up the sketch, last week I went ahead and did some local art supply store shopping and picked up some new art supplies. So I figure for this video, we'll go ahead and go through those art supplies and just check them out on this drawing here that I happen to be doing. Well, for this first art supply, I think we're gonna go ahead and check this guy out here. This acrylic ink, opaque white. According to this, it's the opacity is, uh, or the opaque is, the opaque is super white or whatever that means. But anyway, it's acrylic ink and we're gonna head, go ahead and check this out. It's by a brand called uh, Hol Holbin? Holbin or something like that. I'm not really too sure, but we'll check this one out. And the second thing I went ahead and picked up is this Japanese art pen I found. Uh, this is just more of a give it a try and let's figure it out and see how this works, you know? As you can see, the entire label is all in Japanese. I don't really know what it is but we'll go ahead and check it out looks like it's a brush pen so we'll just check it out and see what it's like and then i went ahead and actually went to my local michaels and michaels was having a huge sale on the copic markers so i went ahead and picked up you know some copic markers that i needed and they were buy one and get one 50 percent off yeah, just basically the basic grays. The only thing they didn't have was the C1 that I needed. They had all the others, so I went ahead and picked them all up. And I didn't really need a black pen, but I picked up a black pen too. And then I went ahead and picked up another thing too from Michaels as well too. Two of the most common things I use, uh, Micron Pigment pens. And yeah, so I just went ahead and picked those up. The number five and the number eights. Yeah, so they were also buy one, get one 50% off. So let's go ahead and pull out this brand new fancy ink pen that I happen to have here. Let's go ahead and try and draw some lines here and stuff. So, you know, just to get a feel of the pen. And, oh, goodness, I must say that this pen is quite nice, actually. <laughs> Discovering that it is quite the nice pen. Tip is actually really nice and firm, actually, for a brush pen. The control is pretty easy to actually use, which is something I kind of like right now. Yeah, you just kind of push firmly down and then just, you know, just kind of, it just kind of brushes up and really nice. You have to really try it, uh, you know, try it for yourself. Yeah, so overall, I have to say that this is quite the fancy little pen actually that I bought. And it actually wasn't that expensive. It was only like under five bucks to buy this pen. Yeah, overall, I really, really am enjoying this pen. I'm almost ready to just basically just get rid of all my other brush pens that I've been trying over the past couple of times. I've tried, you know, using a brush pen and just, you know, replace it with this one because I think I may have found my winner here. All right, so let's try this next one here that I got. This acrylic white opaque ink that I have here. It was very expensive, actually, when I bought it at the art store. It's like $15 for this little bottle of ink. I wasn't really too happy about spending that much money on this bottle of ink, but I figured let's give it a try and see how it works. And upon my first inspection, I was just kind of like, eh, I wasn't really liking it so much. And then of course, after I tried it, you know, a few more dips and getting it going in, it really started to come out very nice and really, really white. So that was actually really good. So I think overall, I really do enjoy this ink and I think I will go ahead and try it more in my artwork. So I decided to try and revive one of my old tech pens that I have. These are refillable ink pens that I have that I bought way back in the day, way back in the day when I was going to school. And to be completely honest with you, I probably shouldn't have done this. I should have just left well and be alone. When I pulled out the tech pens, I realized that I didn't take proper care of them and they were they were put away in pretty bad shape. The ink inside was still dried out and it just wasn't really working very well. So I tried cleaning them out and when I thought that I had cleaned them out pretty well, I went ahead and decided to try and put the white ink here into the tech pens. But unfortunately that idea did not pan out very well for some reason. 
I don't know, maybe the tech pens are damaged, maybe they're just in that bad a shape, or maybe this ink is actually too thick, I don't know, because I even try watering down the ink to see if I can get them to flow in these tech pens, and for some reason, they just weren't flowing. Because you see, I like the idea of using a tech pen of some sort or some kind of, you know, like these fine liners. But I want to use the white ink on my drawings. Because I'll be honest with you, I'm not very good with using brushes. And that right now seems to be the best way to use this. And I don't really want to use the brush. I kind of want something simple and easy. But in the end, I guess I'm just going to have to use the brush. So yeah, this was my attempt to try and do something that I had an idea for. And for some reason, it just didn't pan out very well. All right, so let's talk about the drawing that I'm doing here. So basically, as I'm doing this drawing, I really, really do like this new drawing pen that I got here for the inking here. I have to say that this brush tip is very firm and it works really well. The ink comes out real nice and smooth and it just makes everything so, it just makes everything a pleasure to ink with here with this pen. It's very satisfying. I think overall my favorite part of this drawing was pretty much the inking actually. So it was nice for me to actually open up the Copic markers. Working with the Copic markers actually just almost kind of feels therapeutic for me actually. For years I've always worked with markers. Even before I started using the computer I've always used markers. In the very beginning I actually used to use Prismacolor markers. Those are the ones I used a lot and those are my marker of choice. But over the past couple of years I started using Copics and I really fell in love with the Copics myself too so I just use Copics now all the time it seems like. I have thought about switching markers in the past but I don't know I kind of actually enjoy these. So my final step of this drawing was basically going ahead and using the white opaque ink that I have. It was really nice to actually work with it actually. I really found it really nice and white. So I try to do it around the whites of her eyes and also around her shoes. I did try using the ink in other areas too of the drawing, but overall, I think I probably should have just went ahead and used the color pencil actually in all those areas instead of using the white ink. But overall, I think this white ink is actually really good stuff. I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue using this white ink. I did mention before about how much it costs to use this white ink, but overall I think with other brands that are out there, I kind of noticed that the white ink that I'm using here is actually kind of a decent deal actually for the price. Well, especially when I've noticed too that the Copic version of this opaque white is actually about half the size of this bottle and it costs about the same amount. So I happen to think that it's actually a good deal. So overall, I actually did enjoy using this ink actually, and I will definitely use it in the future in my other drawings I happen to do with drawings that are kind of similar like this. Well, I think it's time to put the finishing touches on this drawing and let's wrap up this video then. So once again, thank you for watching the video. Please go ahead and hit the like button on this video. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel to watch more content like this in the future from me. As always, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks and bye bye.